In today's video, we're going to quickly look at what we went through to create this particular animation. The steps are the exact same as what has been taught in the previous video that showed how to make this step by step. And you can watch that right over here or after you finish watching this particular time lapse. The entire process has been shown and the entire video has been sped up to five times the original speed. So hopefully, if in case you still wanted another example of how to create a slight different variation of what we learned in the previous two videos, then you can watch this video just to learn a bit more. The difference between the previous videos and this particular video is that in this particular video, we went ahead and used a square or a cube as the base and we had the cut to be vertical down the line of the cuboid. In the other video, it was a horizontal cylinder that we chopped up. The reason as to why we thought that another good variation of this particular animation would be using this cuboid instead of the cylinder is because we were mostly rendering these out in the vertical aspect ratio and when you render it out in the vertical aspect ratio, the chopping of the cylinder wasn't seen as well as it would be seen in this vertical cuboid that's being chopped up. We can give more emphasis on the cutting of the material in this particular scenario. In the first time lapse, we did just use the wireframe modifier to create the cutting or the cutter, whatever lasers or what you imagine them to be. In the tutorial, we chose to use geo nodes and we converted the mesh to a curve and turned the curve back to a mesh with the profile curve to be a circle. In this particular situation, that would have actually been a better solution. However, I thought just for time's sake, using a wireframe modifier would be faster, so I used a wireframe modifier. However, if there's just a single edge, as we did to the sides that are connected to the pillars, you can't quite get the wireframe modifier to that. So for that, we actually had to extrude those four edges and make them slightly thick, give them some sort of thickness in order for us to be able to get the wireframe modifier to act on. However, we made sure that it was very, very thin, so it didn't make too much of a difference. And I guess that was a good enough trade-off for the time that it saved. In this particular time lapse, each of the lights that we used to light up the different sides are area lamps. However, during the final animation, the final render that we saw at the beginning of this particular video and what we will see at the end, I changed out the area lamps to the point lights just so that the shadows are not that harsh. 
In this particular case, while setting up, they looked fine because the camera wasn't moving and we were looking at it from a single angle. However, towards the end, I did choose to let the camera also do an entire 360 around the moon object. And that's why the shadows were seen and they were too harsh for my liking. And so I went ahead and did this. Another thing that I wanted to do was have the object that's being cut seeing something like ice or like glass so that the lasers cutting through it makes a lot of sense. However, there was a slight issue with that because the inner object would also undergo refraction while the outer object is being booleaned away. And so we couldn't go ahead and fix that. If we spent a lot more time, we would have found a solution for it, but I didn't want to spend too much time on that. The solution would have generally, generally been around changing the IOR or the index of refraction of the glass material that might have made it look all right. But I didn't want to go ahead and spend too much time testing that out because again, later on, I did know that I will be rotating the camera and if changing the camera changes the angle, then we might have to play around with the index of refraction again afterwards. And I just wanted to, to, I wanted this to be really, really quick because I've already done two entire videos about creating this exact effect on that. If by chance you actually are watching this far into the video, which I'm pretty sure you're not, but in case you are, I'd like to say that if you want any specific animations or ideas that you want to try and implement, you can always comment them down below. And I will definitely try to create animations towards the styles that all of you want. However, if you just like what I'm already doing and you want these particular files, you want maybe the videos that are rendered so that you can use them in your own projects, whatever they may be, you can actually check out my Patreon that's linked in the description. In the Patreon for the different tiers, I will be uploading the HD versions of each of these videos. And at the end of every week, whatever videos I have rendered will be uploaded and I'll also be creating certain wallpapers and those wallpapers will also be added in to the different tiers. A lot of these final touches are just for personal preferences and a few of them haven't even been shown in the final render which is because I rendered this out once I didn't like a few things and then did it again. However this is the final render that we got after those few changes so thank you all for watching I hope this helped out a little bit 
and I hope you can create some really cool and amazing things in the future. Until next time, stay creative.